had, how long it has been, what God did here. Comfort Ichinda. By the grace of God, I am born again. I belong to Language Church in Ikwere Group of District, Portakot, River State of Nigeria. God healed me of brain tumor of 20 years. How did it happen? Where did it happen? Hallelujah. So, it was before now, I visited many hospitals to no avail. Brethren have spent money. For 20 years now, I've been living on drugs. But during the June crusade at Calabar, I came to the crusade. Really, that day, I was forced to come. I didn't want to come. My pastor forced me. I sighed, and, you know, after that, I summed up courage, and I went to the crusade. So as a man of God pray, the sickness stopped immediately. How did it happen? I can sneeze from morning to night. Serious headache. A day cannot pass. I did not take medicine. But since that day till today, I no more sneeze. I sleep like a baby. Bread and praise the Lord. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in my sight. When God turned away the captivity of Babylon, there we are like men that dream. I woke up from sleep, I go to the mirror, I look at myself, I will ask a question Is it me? You're here. You have a similar problem like my own, above my own, smaller than my own. Look unto God. One day, the God that visited Shadrach, Mishad, and Abednego. The God that visited me through my father in the Lord, he will as well visit you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 20 years to more vanished away. We listen to the next one now. Then thereafter, we listen to testimony from Baesa State of somebody who died. As he died, the general superintendent prayed in a program. The Lord raised him up. There is a witness to that. Somebody who knew about the death, and that person will follow him here after this one now to testify. Now let's hear you now. Praise the Lord. Madam, praise the Lord. My name is uh, George Biko, because Pastor Grace, I'm born again. I come from the uh, Potako region, Nigeria, West Africa. Praise the Lord. It happened in uh, 2014 when our pastor came to River State, the very place. And, uh, you know, I was having pain inside my ear. Blood was coming out. And pause, severe pain. I went to chemist to buy some drug. No way. I also went to BMH. To see doctor, they give me medications. When I came back, no way. And I heard that the GS is coming to Potakov for a crusade. This is the same place, 214. I said, I will not go anywhere again. I, said, I, will, I will endure the pain. I will come to the program. And I endured that pain. It was severe. And by the grace of God, I came here that day on a crusade. The very first day, I came, nothing happened. And uh, the GS said that uh, a pastor said other people are coming here to see miracle, other people from other churches. Uh, now he said, second day, he said, tonight is deeper life now. I said, Amen. And he just mentioned my, my case. He said, tonight, there's a new eardrum tonight. The pastor said, Yeah, tonight is a new eardrum. And that's my problem. I said, Amen. That's how the problem gone. 2014, I'm enjoying my ear. No problem, no pain, no anything. Praise the Lord. God has done for me, will do for you in Jesus' name. Yes, a problem rolled away. Tonight is your own. We listen to testimony now from Bayesa State. Praise the Lord. 
People of God, praise the Lord. Uh, by the grace of God, my name is uh, Brother Eretinio Pukeme from Bayasa State, Ekawe region. The man standing beside me is my elder cousin brother, Pastor Dr. Selector Gladden Timidise. Actually, when we had this uh, divine connection at Abuja, the second to the last day, that was a Monday, Monday morning, he was supposed to uh, travel to Yenegua. But uh, what really happened when I was called that morning that he is in coma? I said, and you know, in the recent past, we have lost several people in the family. And I became worried, and myself and my wife, we prayed in the morning devotion. But he was still in that condition. That evening, that program, I was there. You know, we were connected through a phone with all these small MP3 by the roadside, and some people were gathered. So when the GS called for prayers, that if you have somebody who is, you know, almost dying, who is, you know, gone up, you should stand on behalf of that person. And where I was in Nangama, far away, is in Kudukubie, he was there, and I stood on his behalf, and we prayed. Believing God, as the man of God declared, I believed God. And uh, lo and behold, 2 a.m. Tuesday morning, he woke up. He woke up. He woke up, yes, from that coma he was. And uh, the brother called me, said, Pastor, something is happening to your brother. I said, what is that? I said, your brother has just woke up. And God did that wonderful testimony and we pass it on through the platform for testimony. And yet we are here to confirm that this is what God did. God is alive. He is mighty. He is great. And tonight, He will visit you. And He will do wonders for you in Jesus' name. Let's hear from the horse's mouth. As a matter of fact, in that problem, I knew what was called death. I never knew where I was. People are doing whatever they could to bring me back to life, but I never knew. Until after some time, I just woke up from where I was falling. And then I asked them, why are you all around me? They said, I was in a state of coma. Uh -uh. For so long, so, I, I don't know exactly who was praying for me, but I know something happened, and that is the touch of God. So, brothers and sisters, you have to understand that God is alive and is always ready to respond to your situations, no matter how complicated such type of problems and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I never know, I never knew what is happening. I know something touched me. The power of God touched him, brought him back to life. Your situation, no matter what it is, tonight they will disappear away. Let's listen to the next person. As that person is coming up, I want to give you testimony of somebody from Cross River State, 12 years of his sanity was totally taken away. His name is Richard Davidson Ugoji. Way back in 2009, he was afflicted with the spirit of madness. Since then, he has been on that problem. But by the grace of God, during signs and wonder for the needy crusade, the power of God touched him. On the fourth day of the program, the madness was rolled away. Praise the Lord. Today is yours. Let's listen to the next testimony. My name 
name is Sister Bimbo Wankwala. I am from Rukwaklusi New Layout, Eligolo Group, Porta Court Region, West Africa, Nigeria. I want to testify on what God did for me during the Signs and Wonders Crusade at Calabar. After all the publicity we had on Monday of that week, I, I, my itinerary blocked. I could not generate again. I said, ah, uh -uh. I called my husband. Look at, I can't go to the toilet to urinate again. And it was so excruciating. I have to pray. Me and my husband, we started praying. I said, this is the week of signs and wonders. And I went to the clinic. They tested me. They gave me some drugs that it will go. It didn't go. On Wednesday, I went back. For me to urinate anywhere is more than 30 minutes. It's so excruciating. And the, when I went back on Thursday morning, she said she can't do anything. She referred me to a, a gynecologist. I went there. When she, uh, she saw me, she said, no. She now referred me to UPTH, that I should go that this type of thing is kidney stone. I will take an operation. I said, what? During the signs and wonder, I'll go to UPTH when others are receiving miracle? I said, no. I will not go to UPTH. Our daddy in the Lord will pray and I will catch the prayer. And I came back that evening. I, 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 could, I was restless during the first day, just like today. I started praying. I started praying. I said, God of sight and wonder, you will visit me. And as our father in the Lord prayed, I went back home. I mean, my husband, we prayed throughout the night. We, I said, I must catch my miracle. The second day, I must go and give my testimony. My sisters, my brother. In the morning, as if nothing happened, I was still praying. I called one of my friends. I said, let us pray. God has answered me. I will not go to the second day of this crusade with this problem. My brothers, my sisters. Immediately, I dress up. I said, okay, let me go. My friend said, come, let's pray. I, I was about to go. That urine came again. I was afraid. I now went to the toilet. By the time I got to the toilet, I just heard boom. From, I just heard boom. And I started urinating. I said, oh, praise the Lord. My brother, my sister, are you here today? Today is the first day of the testing of the miracle. Believe God that as you are here, you will not go back with your problem. And God will answer you in Jesus' name. Toss to and fro, from one doctor to the other, until the Almighty God touched her. She had boo, and the kidney stone vanished away. Today, you will hear, you will see, you will testify. Yours will be more in Jesus' name. Let's listen to the next person. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm standing before you here. I'm Prof. Felix Ibekwe from Oyibo region. I want to thank God for what he did for me in the past Enugu crusade. By the grace of God, I attended that crusade and I was having severe, I mean, a hiccup. That hiccup was very strong, but God's power overthrew it. In that very hiccup, I would take water continuously, but water doesn't take it away. So in that very crusade, God released me from that body. I took the hiccup to the crusade, and as the opening prayer was going on, I was telling God, immediately, I felt the urge to vomit, and I vomited, and the hiccup disappeared. Praise the Lord. Before the next person, blessing from Calabar. Had second Nave from Bath that lasted for 21 years. She ought to have just only one during the time of the global crusade, science and wonders crusade in Calabar, 
one of the nave disappeared, leaving the only natural one that should be there. Today, all Satan inspired and placed property in your life will disappear. Praise the Lord! My name is Sister Patience Martins from New Layout District, Ozodo Group, Ozova Old District, in Port Harcourt Region, in River State, and in Nigeria. I'm standing here to testify of what God has used our generous pretendent to do in my life. In 2019, my family was into attack after burial of my husband, elder brother. And there was raining hetero scatter. Anytime the attack come, I will be running from room to parlor, parlor to kitchen, kitchen to dining. To an extent, I met a friend that told me that she would give me a booklet which I will use to pray and the enemy will leave me. And I said, okay. But she said she gave the bulletin to somebody that she would just pray with me and the little one she pray, I should go home and be praying that one until she get the bulletin. And I came back and started praying the prayer. That month we, vis we went for GS monthly program, Friday and Saturday program. Then on the Saturday, GS was teaching. He said there are people that are sharing prayer bulletin, giving to people to pray, calling the name of Jesus seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times, and the Holy Ghost fire seven times. That we should not take that prayer bulletin that is occultic prayer. And I said to myself, this is exactly the prayer that woman showed me to pray. And I rejected that book. I didn't go for it again. Praise the Lord. And I started praying. I said, God, then give me my solution. I need solution to this problem. Then in the dream, I saw our generous pretendant climbing a ladder from down to the sky. And he was holding a glass cup in his hand. He collected a liquid that looked like milk. As he was coming down, he was drinking it and giving it to a crowd like this that I did not know where he started and where the crowd ended. And I woke up and I told myself, I said, my blessing is in Pastor Kumuyi's hand. And I continue believing God with him. And I continue praying and calling on the name of God, worshiping under Pastor Kumuyi, serving under Pastor Kumuyi. One of the days, the Spirit of God in the dream lifted the word of God in my heart. He said, I am the light of the world. Those that follow me does not dwell in darkness. And I woke up and said, this must be the word of Jesus Christ, but I don't know where it's in the Bible. We went for um, um, a communion service that same month. A sister, the choir leader, as we were rehearsing choir, she said that the Spirit of God is leading her to read a portion of the Bible. We asked her to read, and she mentioned it. John chapter 12, 46. I came into the world as light. Those that do follow me does not dwell in darkness. And I say, God, that is that same word I had. And I continue believing God through Pastor Kumuyi. Then in the dream again, Pastor Kumuyi prayed a prayer and I shouted, Amen. And I woke up and said, my blessing is in Pastor Kumuyi's hand. Since that day, I continue going to his program. My brothers and sisters, this, um, two weeks before Divine Solution program, the enemy launched into my life to take my life. I saw the spirit of death in the, in, in, on my bedside in the dream. And when I woke up that week was trouble. The enemy was attacking me every 12 o'clock in the night. He will come and jump into the ceiling like rat and be running around the bed. But I continue praying and claiming the promises of God. See, the third day of divine solution, when Jesus came to minister, as the song was going on, I was singing with bitterness, calling on God and say, I'm praising you, give me solution. This is the generous pretender, give me solution. And I had a voice, he said, go and preach my word. I said, I will go. To which he said, go and preach to the women. I said, okay, sir, so I will go. Then I felt peace in my heart. Then Jesus came up. As soon as he came up, after ministry, he prayed. He said, there is somebody here. You have pain in your head that is connecting from your ear to your head. He said, that is the spirit of madness. And he commanded that spirit to leave me. And immediately that spirit left me. Since that day, that pain on my head, when spoon drop on the ground, it will affect my head. I will not be able to sit in a sand like this. But glory, glory of God, he has delivered me. I said, this God who delivered me, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. And you Amen. that is standing... Amen. Every contrary spirit will vanish from you. 
welcome the presence of Professor Macaulay Dumele, the Vice Chancellor of Ignatius Aguru University, together with the Registrar of that same university. You are welcome. God bless you. We now listen to the uh, to Port Harcourt Choir.